So, I've sat Lisa down. I've even made the tea. Uh, <laughs> it seems like an age since we've been in front of camera, we've talked about lettings mm. and talked about rentals and talked about investments in general. And understandably, I suppose, it's been very, very quiet. I guess 14 interest rate rises or so. It's taken their toll, let's just say, on that part of the market. Um, so it'd be nice to just give a bit of an update from our perspective, I think, in terms of where we are. Yeah, definitely. I think starting, I mean, we can't ignore the, um, the interest rate rises have definitely impacted landlords greatly over over the last month and what we're trying to do as a business what we're doing as a business is we're reaching out to our managed landlords to ask them about rent increases because there's no two ways about it the rental market has been really 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 busy demand is very high and rents are climbing and so um, for our managed stock and for our let only landlords we're reaching out to say do you want to um, increase your rent because it absolutely makes sense to do that to keep um, the market rent correct on your home and that will help um, to some degree with with the interest rate rises and as most people will know who've watched us do videos like this in the past um, we're investors we're long-term investors in the Chester area and a lot of the press quite rightly so has been focused on homeowners who have locked into interest rates that are expiring two-year deals now which are getting quite painful the same is said for investors that's no different if you look at the vast majority of investors out there uh, they're of a certain age let's just say mm -hmm. um, that's a proven statistic and a lot of those investors will have borrowing a lot of those investors will have previously locked into two or five year buy to let deals so they're in the same position those deals will come to an end and those two-year deals same as for most homeowners where you're paying a buy to let rate you 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 you're paying double now and you know we've felt this personally that as you know uh, unless you are you have tenants who are paying the market rate you can very easily find yourself in a position where you're actually not able to service your interest payments on your buy-to-let mortgage. Yep, scary stuff. It is. So, you know, we have, the, as Lisa said, we have the team, one of the, the tasks for the lettings team is to sort of pick through um, all of the tenancy agreements that we have, make sure that our landlords are paying, or our landlords are receiving the market rent and no surprises effectively or hopefully when it comes to to the letters popping through the letterbox with yep. uh, interest rate changes um, but we speak to people all the time don't we we speak to prospective clients uh, landlords who we know who may who may be out of area may not be clients of ours who are in the situation we've just found so you know and often that's because they might not be with an agent they don't feel comfortable or confident to be able to approach their tenants their tenants have been there for years they're almost like friends in a way it's a difficult conversation to be to have isn't it yeah it, it it is and the reality is that you know we can help with anything like that you know we are getting a number of our let only landlords approaching us to say can you help with a rent increase can you help with an inspection just to put some space between um, themselves and their tenants so whether it's something ad hoc like that that we can do for you or if it is a, a fully managed package then please do reach out to us um, we've got um, portfolio managers who are working through their stock but also John and I um, would love to talk to you about anything to do with your um, investment portfolio or any questions you might have about letting out. Actually we could talk briefly about energy efficiency, mm. not the most exciting topic. I think again most landlords I would guess given the news over the last couple of weeks with the government stra scrapping the targets for EPC ratings I would say that most landlords have probably just thrown their hands in the air and you know breathed a huge sigh of relief and then completely forgotten all about it. I would say that is the wrong thing to do. 
It absolutely is. I mean, we are right to exhale because it would have been a real hassle and could be very expensive to um, fit into the requirements that we thought was going to come along for EPCs. Um, so we're rightly so we should exhale and, and be very grateful for the um, for the moment. That said, there's something coming down the line, isn't there? Well, I think the government have kicked the can down the road to a certain extent, and you know, as we know, time has got a habit of kind of moving on. Uh, and who's to say that a, a future government change wouldn't reverse or revisit some of those decisions? So for me, it's a Yes, short term in exhale, but actually now is probably the time almost to carry on your thinking and your work around energy efficiency because there are still deals available, there are grants available, there's funding available, and you know we could get to the position further down the road where almost borrowing is on the basis of energy efficiency. You might get cheaper finance for energy efficient homes this You'll, stuff might come i think you definitely will you know at the moment there are some green deals for people who who are who do have very good epcs but i think what will happen is they'll end up being an additional premium for people who potentially have got homes that are not compliant to epc so i think the rule of thumb is you know if if you are unsure please do reach out to us. We have got companies who can help access grants. So there are things that you can do now, even though there's not a race to, to get that sorted too quickly. Um, but yeah, please do reach out to us in that regard. It's, it's good to take a, a long-term view on, on the UPC rating. And if we can help with that, we'd absolutely love to. Great, and uh, it's nice to be back in front of camera talking mm -hmm. about rentals and lettings. And um, let's not leave it so long. No, we won't. If anybody uh, wants to get in touch, please do so. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching.